Hawaii, Long Island Expressway. You got the lanes going east, and you got the lanes going west. You also got the lanes going straight to hell. And a lot of people have died on it. Harry Chapin, Alan Pakula, the movie director. You probably heard of them. I bet you never heard of Sylvia Blitza, my mom. She died in a crash at exit 52. I really miss her. It's taken a lot of people, and I hope it doesn't get me. I lost five pounds. Can you tell? No. You weren't using any protection. So what? I'm not fucking anyone else. I'm not gonna catch anything. He means that she can get pregnant, you dickhead. I think she's a little young for that, guys. Does she bleed, man? Does she get her periods? Mm, she saw them last year, I think. Duh. You better start using a rubber because the baby could be a little hard to explain to your parents. Especially a two-headed baby. Hey, fuckos. Something wrong with my family? Chill, dude. I'm just trying to say that if a brother and sister make a baby, a lot of times could have two heads or something like that. He's right, man. Everybody knows it. It's in the health books and everything. Hey, look, even ask Blitzer. He's a brain. Yeah. He don't know shit. Blitzer, what happens when a sister and your brother make a baby? Two and a baby. He fucks his sister. Oh, I don't believe it. 20 bucks. See for yourself. I don't mean I don't believe it. I just... Oh, shit. What are you look, talking? I do believe that you fuck your sister. I just think... I think he's trying to say that it's not politically correct to fuck his sister. We're not even old enough to vote. So that's a stupid joke, Blitzer. <laughs> I wish I had a sister. So we can hit that house on Marsha Street or what? Give it to him for it's gonna be a part of these things. He needs to make a contribution. It's jewelry now. You got it? <laughs> jewelry. Yeah. Ooh. Better not get him angry. Oh yeah. I bet when he gets angry, you can squash it great. You know what, Cole? If he went to college for four years and started really hard, he'd still be a fucking idiot. Squash him like a fucking great. with an update on the fire in Freeport. Michelle, are you there? Michelle? Yes, I am, Mike. 
the HUD-funded low-income housing project in Freeport that was built amid a raging controversy two years ago has become the source of a federal investigation. The March 14th fire causing damage to three floors, killing two firefighters was apparently caused by faulty wiring. Fire marshals investigating discovered that illegal aluminum wiring may have been substituted in an effort to save on construction costs. The FBI said today that indictments are expected. What? Back to you, Mike. Thanks, Michelle. Up next... there. Gary. You gotta see this. And he was banging her like crazy. What if it does her in the ass? I'd fuck her. I'd fuck anything. Did you fuck her? No, your dad would probably find out. What about you, Jack? I don't have a father. I have an asshole. Yes. Tell me a secret. You know, something that nobody else knows. You tell me one. You first. All right, seriously, no fucking around? Seriously, no fucking around. All right, I've never really been with the girl. <laughs> That's your secret? Well, what? I've never told anyone before. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think you have anything to worry about. You have good skin, great eyes, those blue eyes. All those highlights in your hair. Highlights? Yeah, you know, all different shades in your hair. You got cool hair. People go nuts over that shit. Serious? I know this house. It is loaded. I mean, loaded. The only problem is, is that I need someone's help. You know you can get me, man. I'm a good friend. Sounds cool. He's a jolly good fella. He's a jolly good fella. 
Can't you nobody can deny? Hey, Gary, this is fucking nuts, man. There's people up there. I'm so scared. Pussy. Gary? You bake me a cake, Ma. Scott baked it. You bake me a fucking cake? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Ma. Your carrot cake. So good. How many carrots did you put in this? I lose like 40 carrots. <laughs> what do you think I am, Bugs Bunny? <laughs> oh, here goes. What the fuck is it? Come on. Thanks, Ma. What a great birthday. Oh, for God's sake, Scott, smile. Let's do it again. H A W. Fuck you! Cock sucker, motherfucker! Hey! Hey! Oh, you almost got me, man. He ripped my fucking pants. Oh, God, man, I'm cool. Yo, you gotta tell him what's going on if we want to win on these things. Oh, chill, bro. He's shmearing the Washington guys. Look, why are you doing this to me now? Don't you know about my wife? No, you're completely clean. This has nothing to do with you. I can't talk right now, okay? My kid is here. I'm telling you, please just give it an extra day. I will call you later, okay? You know you got good skin. Great eyes. Tell me a secret. I know this house. I've never really been with a girl before. You know something that nobody else knows? I don't think you have anything to worry about. You're a good friend. You have good skin. People go nuts over that shit. What are you looking at? Played hooky yesterday. Want hockey? Don't be a wise guy. The school called and said you missed some of your classes. Can I come to the office today? Hey, don't be a wise guy. Now get your ass out of bed. You touch better be on that bus this morning. Oh, and uh, your friend Gary is waiting in the kitchen. Gary's here? Yeah, I don't like him. He smiles too much.
You got nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed of anything. I didn't say that you were. I'm just saying that sometimes skinny guys are shy about their bodies. Well, I'm not ashamed. My body's okay for my size. Hey. I'm okay, ain't I? You know what I just said? Don't get a complex. Man, your crib is looking good. You got your own fridge, fucking computer, a huge TV. Outstanding. Yeah, I think these are Russian ones. They're like antiques, you know? Dude, somebody might see us here. These are my tickets to California. California? What? <laughs> it's just you didn't say anything. I didn't want anyone to know, dude. Your parents don't know? No. Oh. I don't care what they say. I'm splitting. Why don't you come with me? You can read your poetry in coffee houses and shit, man. Your shit's great. You can get paid. I don't know, man. I mean, we work in some like fucking car wash. What's wrong with that? Well, we have fun. So we have fun. We have fun. Get. <laughs> Come with me. We'll be men. You're really serious, huh? Fuck yeah. I mean, what you got going for you here? Nothing. I think I might be going with you, man. All right! <laughs> oh. 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 Turn on the water in the bathroom, faucet comes off right in my hand. This is excellent pastrami. Anyway, splush water every fucking place. I call the plumber, because I can't turn it off for shit. I mean, it's everywhere. So the plumber gets there, shuts off the valve, replaces the faucet, hands me the bill. Bam. $400. Elliot. This is $400. You work like what? A half hour tops? Plumber says so. I say so. That's like $800 an hour. I mean, I'm a lawyer. That's more money than I make. He says, that's more money than I made when I was a lawyer, too. <laughs> yeah. Elliot. What? You're not listening to me. I'm listening. I'm trying to take your mind off. I can't do this legal shit right now. Sylvia's gone. I don't even know my kid. Relax. You're not one of them. I didn't cause that fire. You didn't it fucking do anything, compad. You got 100 guys working for you. 20 subcontractors. And there's no way that they can make a case against you with all these other schmucks involved. Half of them don't even work for you anymore. Oh. That is a lovely name. What do you call the other one? Jesus Christ. Oh. Listen, you, you gotta relax. 
Listen, I... Come on, what are you, nuts? <laughs> Cut it out, Elliot, come on. Elliot, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much, come on. Elliot? that I've known. I knew him my whole fucking life, but he was taking care of me, and I got all these fucking problems now. Seriously, if I tried to give you an extra movie, I thought he was kidding around. Damn it! That's fucking car! What the fuck are you doing here? Why aren't you in school, damn it? Get off of me, boy! Get off of me, boy! I'm the only one you can be freaking macho with now! Get off of me, no! Hey! It's my son! So that makes it okay? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry! Look who it is! What's, uh, what's going what's on? What's How you been? What? what the fuck is your problem? Yeah, what the fuck? Get the fuck off me! Let me see his watch. Let me see his watch. Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off me! What? Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off me! Don't fucking touch me! What? Get the fuck out! Dead. You're yeah. fucking dead. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. Alright. Who pounded you? No one. Look, where's Gary? Look, when did you guys get so tight? I don't know. Ah, because me and Gary used to hang out like every day last year and never saw you around. So? Well, you better watch your ass around that guy. Skiffed you? Have I ever fucking skiffed you? I am missing two of my prized possessions, and you know very well what they are, Gary. Who was the little dirtbag you were with? Howie Blitzer. Where does he live? Randolph Drive. Look, I, I didn't know he took the guns till afterwards, and I, and I yelled at him, and but he already sold it. You're not gonna hurt him, are you? Would I hurt a boy? No, you're capable of it. Yeah. Get in the car. How did you find me? You should know. I have magical powers. Mr. Blitzer. What happened to your eye? Nothing. <clears throat> I, uh, I got in a fight with my brother. If you're having any trouble at home, I want you to come talk to me, okay? So, I see you have an appointment with Mr. Nielsen. Yeah, uh, I cut a few classes. Howie, <clears throat> Mr. Nielsen is not the Dean of Discipline for no reason. He's a very unsympathetic person. He will expel you in a heartbeat, and I will not be able to help you. No one can help me. Just so you know, I know you're different, okay? Different? Well, you're not a nerd, you're not a jock. 
You're not a scholar or a Romeo. Or a gangster. Or a clown. So what am I then? You are a Howie Blitzer. My own category. Howie, quit it, okay? Now, when you see Mr. Nielsen, do not be a wise ass. You are not one of his favorite people. You two want to be alone now? Yeah, go fuck yourself. Suck my Titanic, Money bitch. Fuck. Yeah, you do for a dollar. Oh, shit. I got a split too, man. I got a call on home. What the fuck? Fuck you all. So, uh, guess you're ready for California, man. You and me? You and me, dude. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Bonjour, Hal. Comment allez-vous, mon jeune ami? Ça va bien, merci. Howard? Comment ça? Vous vous appelez Howard, n'est-ce pas? Well, yeah, but uh, everybody calls me Howie. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about your mother, Howard. I was a friend of hers. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Sylvia was a good woman. Mind if I join you for a minute? Oh, no, no, please. The name's Harrigan, John Harrigan. People call me Big John. I uh, didn't see it at the funeral. Uh, at least I don't remember seeing it. No, no, re regrettably I couldn't make it. Uh, I just got back from Paris. Oh, that's cool. How do you know I speak French? Your mom used to talk about you all the time, Howard. She was so proud of you. Told me all about your poetry, too. You know, I had some published in England. Oh. If you like, I show it to you. <laughs> you want to die? Yeah. You like your carbs, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, if you finish this, I'll, uh, I'll give you a ride back to Randolph Drive. Okay, I'm be... going that way. Thanks, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, wow. You like it, huh? I, I mean, this is my dream car. It's the first one I've ever seen in real life. Real life? Get in. <laughs> God, I want one. So, um, uh, what's the top speed on this bad boy? You name it, it does it. Uh, yeah, prove it. Not now. Not on these streets. Uh. Howie, I feel we have a sticky issue to resolve. I've been walking around with this thing, like the Cinderella's glass slipper. I thought perhaps you might like to sew it back on. Huh? Believe me, Howard, you want to talk to me, you don't want to talk to the cops. I know my house is not the only one you've been breaking into. Now come back over here. I just want to talk to you. You don't know my mom. I'll get in the car. No fucking way! Come on, I'm being reasonable here. We're just gonna talk about this thing and then I'll drive you home. Or if you'd rather, we could take a ride over to the police right now. Uh, 
Listen, I'm out of shape. I don't chase after people. I use my head, right? Gotta try it sometime. You remember me now, don't you? Yeah, you were that guy who was having a party in his house. <laughs> you look different in daylight. I've heard that before. There was a wild colonial boy, Jack Lamb was his name. He was born and bred in Ireland, in a place called Castle Lane. He was his mother's only son. Gary told me everything. You know Gary? He told me you guys were very close friends. That's right, we are. He also told me that my guns were gone. I, I guess they are. You guess? Come on, Howard. You sold them. You know they're gone. I didn't sell them. Look, I didn't even touch your guns. Well, then somebody did. Well, this has nothing to do with me, mister. Oh, don't call me that. Call me Big John. Big John. Look, I don't lie, all right? I didn't touch your stuff, and I don't believe that Gary told you I did. Then what the fuck were you doing in my basement? I, I just went along. You just went along? <sighs> Gary, lying little psychopath. If I don't get paid back, I'm gonna change the way that fuck looks permanently. How, how much are they worth? $3,000. Well, what if I could get them back for you? Is that doable? Could be. Wow, if you do that, then we'll see, won't we? Thank you. 
Yeah? Hi, is, uh, is John home? Who are you? I, uh, I have something for Big John on Hallie. You can give it to me. No, uh... Who is it? Some kid named Howie. I don't know any kid called Howie. Take a hike, kid. Howard Blitzer? Oh! Oh! Come in! Come on in! Well, well, well. <laughs> Look at you. You showed up, son of a bitch. Oh, ho. Hail to thee, blithe spirit. Where's my talker of? That's all I could find. That means you guys owe me about a thousand dollars. Shit, come on. I mean, there's no way I could get that. I mean, there's no way. All right, look, maybe, maybe I could work it off or something. Work it off, huh? And just how do you propose to work off a thousand dollars? I don't know. I, you tell me. Look, I did show up, didn't I? I brought you your stuff. Oh, come on, come on. Come in, sit down. Relax. You're making me nervous. <laughs> oh, wow, well, Mark, you all. <laughs> if I had taken anything, I should have stolen this. You know, Chagall? Doesn't everybody? Well, I'm certainly dealing with a higher class of criminal with you. How old are you, Howard? I'm uh, 16. Oh? When are you 16? July 8th. How tall are you? How much do you weigh? I don't know. Uh, five, six, 120 pounds. Why well, do you want You doing all this for your friend, Gary? Yeah. What do you know about Gary Howard? He's a good friend and a cool guy. That's all I need to know. What do you know about me? Not, nothing. Do you want to know something about me? No offense, but not really. What do you got that's worth a thousand dollars? Hmm? All right. What do I got? Well, nothing. Hey, hey. Listen to me, Howard. Five inches is a lot of snow. It's a tremendous amount of rain, but it ain't a whole lot of dick. You got more than five inches hard, huh? Do you? Y yes. She's good at it, isn't she? She knows how to suck a cock. Ever had a blowjob, Howard? No. Probably not. Not yet. But you've thought about it, haven't you? You have thought about it. There's nothing like it. It's better than sex. Everybody says so. I'm better than her. I'm the best cocksucker in the whole Western Hemisphere. Hi. Leave a message in the beat. John Henry? John Henry, this is your mother. Miriam Colson and I just drove by. Miriam said she saw your car in the driveway. Mm -hmm. So I thought you went to the doctors for your hemorrhoids. Hello? Mm -hmm. Why don't you pick up the phone? Hello? John, your mother's on the phone. I know, I know, I have ears. Then talking to your mother.
Johnny. Ah, how does this thing work? I'm coming over. Bye. What are you people doing to me? Did you know this is delicate work? Listen, confidentiality is a religion with me. We can work out this debt. I will see about you driving the cutlass, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I am. I am. I always am. Gary, where the hell are you, man? Look, I gotta talk to you. Uh, your friend Big John, he came walking right up to me at the pizza place. <laughs> I mean, why'd you tell him that I took the guns and stuff, huh? How come you never told me about him? Look, I had to return the guns, otherwise you would have been in deep shit. Where is the other gun, man? All right, just call me. We gotta talk about the trip. Captain Kirk. You ever see that old Star Trek show? There's a bad Captain Kirk and a good one. And Spock and the Dr. Phones. You mean Bones? What? It's Phones McCoy. Bones is a nickname for a doctor, idiot. No, it's like get the doctor on the phone, like house calls. <laughs> it's Bones, cool. It's Phones. Yo, where the fuck is Gary? It's Phones. My dress is so short, you can see a Clint. What? A Clint? It's in a pussy? You mean Clint. Fuck you. I mean, like, Clintosaurus. It's clitoris, you fucking idiot. It's a Clint. Yeah, like you can see Clint Eastwood in her pussy. You gotta admit, she's fuckable. <sighs> Holy shit, man. Something about Blitzer. That's fucked. Let me see the paper, all right? There's a lot of Blitzers. Just... Back off, Jew face. That's fucked. 
Let me just see the fucking paper, Cole. It's my fucking paper. Just give me. I'm sick of this later, Cole. Where'd he go, punk? Yeah, uh, hello, is Gary there? Excuse me? Oh, shit. He said that Gary ran away. Fuck, Ola! Oh, you never trust him for shit, man. Now that he's gone, maybe you can try some girls or something. What? Dude, what I'm trying to say is when you, you do stuff with guys, that's gay stuff. When you do stuff with girls, that's straight stuff. What the fuck are you trying to say? Come on, you think I didn't know you were a salami swiper? Look, I never did anything with Gary. I knew he was a swiper. Nate, Nate didn't, Gary. He did too. He's rich. So? You fucking arrogant prick. You want the blitz. You don't want to do this. Match the other one. Always fucking shit up, man. What's away? It's not like you're fucking your sister. Hey. Look. Well, we'll go to Boca, baby. What the hell happened? You don't care. I care very much. Bullshit. Hey, en enough with the cursing. Just tell me what the fuck happened. It's great, Dad. It's great. This mom too, you know. I see you're in every room in this house. Why don't we get out of here? We'll go to Boca this weekend, you and me. You always say that. Though. No, I mean it this time. What, and that lady too, right? I wish you'd tell me what is up with you. You know, I just wish you'd take care of yourself. Tell me what the fuck is going on with you? I took care of myself. Yeah, close your eyes. You can open it. Thanks. My father gave one to me, and it's great. It has wire nuts, alligator clips, and everything. And blow up the school. Listen, I, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be working for a while. Well, I mean, that's good. You, you work too much. <coughs> Actually, it's, uh, it's not that funny. You know? So uh, are you going to teach me how to drive, like you said? Uh, yeah, the Beamer's in the shop, but yeah, sure. Hmm. And uh, 
you can bring your smiley little friend Gary along, and, you know. Actually, uh, well, we're not really friends anymore. I told you about him. Heard you got a C plus. That's great. Great. What happened? What? Your eye. The the lunch lady elbowed me. Howie, what's going on? <laughs> Look, I gotta get back whoa, to you. How are things at home? Things are great. You know, Mr. Nielsen cut you a break. He's not gonna expel you. <laughs> That's great. Howie, listen to me, I'm gonna give you a number. If you have any trouble at home, I want you to call it, okay? <sighs> Look, I don't need any number, all right? I'm fine. Hey, dude. Huh? Good to see you looking so peppy. I heard about Gary. He just took off, huh? You know where he is? Nobody does. I do. Oh, yeah? Where? No, no I, I can't. Uh, you don't want me to tell anyone. Hey. I understand. You miss him a lot. Not really. Well, you want to take her for a spin? Uh, I don't know. I... Look, <laughs> we're friends. I'm not going to say anything about you and Gary breaking into the house. All right. Hey, Schumacher, we drive on this side. Right. Wait for me. So what's with the eyes? Whoa. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. What's the smell? Hmm? Oh, that! It's me. This is my cologne. It's called Burundi. I just brought it back from Casablanca. You could have some if you like. Well. So, um, uh, you used to work for the government, right? Guilty, Your Honor. To him. What'd you do for them? If I tell you, I'd have to kill you. I was attached to foreign embassies of the United States. Oh, so you were a diplomatic attaché? Oh, that's exactly it, mon ami. As noble a euphemism as there is. Big John, you're a spy, huh? Oh, you such a vulgar accusation. Well, look me in the eye and deny it, then. I can't. Why not? Because your eyes should be on the road. Oh. And if I was a spy, what would you think of me then, Monk? Uh, well, I think that you really are just like James Bond, except James Bond doesn't go around blowing boys.
So, tell me about your writing. Uh, it's stupid. Stupid? You can write, it's a gift. I don't know, I'm, it's kind of hard with all that's been going on. Yeah, you bet. I'll tell you what's harder though. Not being able to do something because some asshole said you couldn't do it. Don't waste what you got, Howie. Okay. Uh, I can remember the smell of her perfume. I didn't think you would remember a smell, but it's her. And I know that never again for the rest of my life will anyone check to see if I have a fever by touching their lips to my forehead. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, what about your writing? My writing? Huh. I started writing poetry in seventh grade. I was in love, of course. Her name was Diane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Her name? Diane? Yes, Howard. Diane was a girl. But, um... I like girls, Howard. I know. It's confusing. <laughs> Did you ever, uh... Uh, no, actually, <laughs> I'm a virgin in that department. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Never had much luck with them. It's amazing. What's amazing about it? The professional ball busters, and you know it. So, how long have you and Gary been doing the horizontal mambo? What? How long have you guys been lovers? I, I never did anything with Gary. No? Well, wow. he must be the only guy in Long Island who hasn't fucked him. Such a slut. The only thing that hasn't been used on him is his brain. Drive again. Well, you'll owe me. You and I are much alike. No. Demon or bird, said the boy's soul. Is it indeed towards your mate that you sing? Or is it really to me? For I, that was a child, my tongue's used sleeping. Now I've heard you. Now in a moment, I know what I am for. And I awake. Nevermore the cries of unsatisfied love be absent from me. Never again leave me be the peaceful child I was before. What there in the yellow and sagging moon, messenger there aroused? Fire, the sweet hell within, the unknown want, and the destiny of me. My God. Walt Whitman. I, I'm gonna take a piss. Trying to seduce me. You know what? Yeah. I think I'm gonna walk from here, right?
What? Oh, jeez. No! No, no! No. No! Now. What the fuck you want from me now? Martin Blitzer, FBI. Hey, hey, wait. Wait, well, okay, I stole hold it. Hold it, I give up. Right now, down. Okay, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Hey, I'm down. Oh, this is so fucking unfair. It's my own neighbors. You don't have to humiliate you. You know, fucking people in the federal government. Ow. Stop your whining. Ah. Hey, Dad. Shit. Hey, Dad. Hello. You've reached Blitzer Builders Incorporated. Please leave a message. Thank you.
You Howie Blitzer? Juvenile detectives have some questions for you. Let's go. Come on. How do you get a hard on the police station? What's your name, son? What the fuck's the matter with you? I'm the captain of the Titanic. All right, go have a seat over there. Whoa, look at that shiner. This is my kung fu fighting. Shut up, dude. Yo, what's going on here? Now, some houses were robbed, and they thought it... Shh. They thought it might be us. We didn't tell them shit, so they called their parents. Don't shit your pants, Vincent. I ain't gonna pound you. Look, don't tell them shit. Look, I won't, all right? Shit. I'll see you, Tom. Well, don't you make me real proud right now. I'm sorry, Dad. You want to follow my footsteps and this is how you do it, asshole? Let's get out of here. I'm here to pick up my son. Can you call? Francis Carp. Right over there. Kevin, are you all right? I know it. I knew this couldn't be your idea. Come on, I'm taking you home. Why do you hang out with these kids? Come on. Hey, we found your dog. What if no one comes for me? What? What if no one comes for me? I guess we'll have to put you in jail then. Swung by to pick up Dillinger here. Ah, this one's yours, huh? Uh, don't wish that on me. It's my sister's kid, my nephew. Ah, man, if I would have known, man, I could have done something. Ah, that's all right. This kid's squeaky clean. Uh, did they question him? No, not yet. They uh, tried to contact the parents, but you could take them, you know? Tommy, if you, uh, if you need any names or anything, you need, you know, I can get them for you. Yeah, no, man. Hey, how's your mom doing? Come on, Howard. She's great, Tommy. Thanks. See ya. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go. A little smoke. So is he going to stay in my room or yours? Oh, Ace. You got nothing to worry about. 
but I need you to stay at the motel for a few days. I really appreciate it. Okay. Did you do Mama's goddess? Your hair got so dark. Put that back, would you? That's going to be you someday, Mr. Special Boy. Get that. Typical Jew fuck, you know that? You got everything you want. Now you want to take what's mine. Why don't you go home to your mother? She's dead. So's mine. Get the fuck out of here! Easy for you. You shave? Yeah, I got a few stragglers, stragglers. Hey. Hey. I guess this means you like me, huh? Kill them all. God sort them out.
Did your father see the raccoon look? I haven't seen him. He fucking left me. Left you? What are you talking about? I'm talking about an empty house. He got some girl and he's gone. What about his court case? Isn't he out on bail? <laughs> court case. Howie. Howie, you got a clue what's going on with your dad? What do you mean? He was arrested. Your father was arrested. You think he abandoned you? He left me. He's in federal prison. It's all over the news. Holy shit. Holy shit. Come on. Come on, let it out, let it out. There, 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 come on. Come on, let go. Yeah. Can you leave me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a good ball, yeah? yeah. Let me get you some pillows, huh?
Johnny? Hello? Hey, you can't leave the milk out like that. Scotty? Ah. Damn cells. I hope you're hungry. I'm making a mixed grill. You know what that is? It's an old Kansas City breakfast thing. Slice of ham, some sausages, a couple of strips of bacon, two eggs, any style, home fries, and hot buttered toast. Okay, now me. Ha! That's hot. Bon appétit. Take your time. Whew. Hello? Hi, Ma. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You don't know what? Because that Dr. Rajid's a towel head, that's why. He's nothing but a third world snake charmer. Well, would you rather just complain about it? Okay. I'll call him. Bye, Ma. You too. Kiss, kiss. Oh, shoot, we're gonna be late. For what? To see Pops. Here. Have a muffin. Oh, so good. Mm. Safe place if you need it. I don't know if I can go in there. Look. I'm no good at being noble, but if you don't go in there, you're gonna regret it. Maybe not tomorrow, but soon, and for the rest of your life. I can't believe you. It's from the movie, Casablanca. <laughs> Take this to the cab. Thanks. to claim the title of United States Marines. Here to see Martin Blitzer. And no watches. Belt.
Look at this place. You know I didn't do this, right? Oh, give me a break, Dad. What do you mean, give me a break? What, you think I'm lying? Well, your whole life's a lie. I'll call Aunt Marilyn when she'll come and get you. I don't need anyone to come get me. I'm fine at the house. Want you get stuff to eat? Yeah. I could use some money, though. My ATM card's in the kitchen junk drawer. The code is 7886. It's my birthday. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about everything. You're sorry about bringing that bimbo into mommy's bed? Well, he's not a bimbo. Did you ever think for a second how I'd feel about that? I mean, you were just like, well, mom ain't around, so I'll just get someone else. But that decision took you like a week. I mean, how would you feel if I got some guy to replace you? Father Howie. Time's up, Blitz. I guess I'll see you when you get yourself out of this mess. Howie. Where are you gonna be? Be at the house. I'll see you whenever, okay? Oh, and, uh, Dad? Don't ever fucking hit me again. Long Island Expressway. You got the lanes going east, and you got the lanes going west. And you also got the lanes going straight to hell. A lot of people have died on it. Harry Chapin, Alan Pakula, the movie director. Sylvia Blitza, my mom. I'm not gonna let it get me.